Hello, today we're out setting some alligator lines, so I thought I'd show y'all how we set them out. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you want to tie your hook to your line. Basically, you're going to run it through like this. You hook it just like that. Then you're going to tie a knot on the end. Should all float away right here. Alright, so you see that you got your knot, your knot at the end, then you're going to double it together, you're going to take the knotted end and go all around both sides until it comes up like that and you have a loop, and then you're just going to pass that knot through the loop and pull it tight. And it slides together just like that. Now that you got your hook secure, you'll want you about a 30 foot piece of line. You're going to want something that will not break if alligator gets on it. So you're looking for a limb that you can't wrap your hand around. Find you a limb that's draping over the water like so. And then you're going to have a clothes pin to string run through it. And you're going to wrap that around your limb. Take your hook. Take your piece of chicken. Got your chicken hooked. Now, alligator can jump half its body length out of the water. So, theoretically, if you wanted a 12 foot alligator, you'd hang it six foot above the water, right? A 12 foot alligator is never going to jump six foot out of the water for a piece of chicken. So, the best thing you can hope for is about two to three foot. Hopefully, the smaller ones will leave it alone and the, uh, the bigger ones will claim their territory before the small ones get a chance to get over here and get to it. But trust me folks, if a smaller gator wants your chicken, they'll figure out a way. So, anything over three foot, you're pretty much wasting your time. Alligator's lazy, he's never going to jump that high for just a little old piece of chicken like that. Not in my experience anyway. Okay, so your extra slice, you're just going to Drape it over some limbs because once the together takes the chicken, you want all that slice to feed off very freely, not get tangled around nothing. After you set your line, you want to flag your area. 